The military plane was unveiled at the Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries Corporation in the central city of Isfahan during a ceremony attended by Defense Minister Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani. In comments at the event, the Iranian defense minister said Simurg is a redesigned and developed version of the same generation of transport aircraft that suits the needs of the military and civilian organizations and is appropriate for the weather conditions in the country. The homegrown plane meets the international standards, General Ashtiani stated, adding that its propulsion system, components and fuselage have been designed and manufactured by local experts at the defense ministry and the domestic knowledge-based companies. He also noted that all ground and aerial tests of Simurg have been carried out inside the country, saying the avionics, propulsion system, new compartments and maneuverability of the new transport plane are incomparable with those of the aircraft of the same generation. Production of Simurg has prepared the ground for designing and manufacturing more advanced aircraft in Iran, the minister added. On the distinguishing features of the aircraft, the general pointed to its light weight, good payload capacity and radius of action, compatibility with Iran's climate, ability to take off and land on short, as well as dirt runways, and its agility that makes it a suitable option as an air ambulance or rescue plane. Simmered light military transport aircraft would strengthen Iran's national interests in all terms, the minister stated, noting that the homegrown plane will absorb foreign currency, lower the costs, create direct and indirect jobs, and allow the Iranian aviation industry to join the world club of manufacturers of heavy and high-tech aircraft. The defense minister also pointed to the regional developments and threats to the Islamic Republic, saying aerial transportation plays a significant role as the armed forces need to enhance capabilities in logistical operations and transportation of cargoes, vehicles, and manpower in battlefields. The Iranian defense ministry gives priority to boosting the country's deterrent power and fulfilling the needs of the ground, naval and air units in the areas that determine the fate of asymmetrical warfare, he concluded. In past years, Iranian Air Force overhauled C-130 military transport plane. Iranian experts repaired and overhauled a C-130 military plane used for transporting military forces and equipment. After 10 years since its last flight, the C-130 military plane was overhauled by the maintenance and logistics experts at the Shahid Doran Air Base. The overhauling operations of the plane took 30,000 man-hours of work. The C-130 plane joined the Iranian Air Force fleet after making its maiden flight. In mid-August, a senior Iranian Air Force commander announced that Iran has attained self-sufficiency in overhauling military aircraft, despite the sanctions imposed by the Western countries. Thanks God and thanks to the Iranian Air Force experts and engineers, we have become self-sufficient in airplane overhauling, pilot training, and many other fields head of Shahid Satari Aviation Science and Technology University, Brigadier General Mehdi Hadian announced. He reiterated that the Air Force is now self-sufficient in all areas, while all its planes fly in accordance with the required standards. In recent years, Iran has made great achievements in the defense sector and gained self-sufficiency in manufacturing essential military hardware and defense systems. Yet, Iranian officials have always stressed that the country's military and arms programs serve defensive purposes and should not be perceived as a threat to any other country. In June, Deputy Chief of Staff of the Iranian Armed Forces for Logistics Major General Mustafa Azadi announced Tehran's preparedness to overhaul the most advanced jet engines in the world. I can say that we are able to provide the infrastructures to overhaul the latest version of any engines within three to four months Azadi said in Tehran. He said that Iran Aircraft Industries, Saha, is among the rare centers in the world which can overhaul and inspect different types of airplanes and engines of military and cargo planes. We have worked with many countries and have overhauled their planes, and we have even overhauled planes in the African continent and South America Azadi said. The regional states have also praised the high capabilities of Iranian Navy forces and experts in overhauling and building different types of planes and fighter jets. In October 2014, Russian Air Force Commander Lt. Gen. Viktor Bondarev said he was surprised to see the Iranian Air Force's capabilities in overhauling different types of airplanes. 
I witnessed the efforts made by the Iranian technicians in overhauling fighter jets and cargo planes, and as an Air Force expert I was happy and surprised to see such progress," Bondarev said after visiting Iran's Shahid Babai Air Base in Isfahan province. The Iranian Air Force's capabilities in building parts and equipment and overhauling different types of planes and helicopters indicate that the international sanctions have not affected the activities of the force," he added. The Iranian Air Force announced in August that the Iranian experts in Shahid Nasser Habibi Air Base in northeastern Iran managed to overhaul two Mirage F-1 fighter jets. The overhauling operations of the two fighter jets took 45,000 man-hours of work. The two aircraft joined the Iranian Air Force fleet after making their maiden flights. Iran also announced in June that its experts in Shahid Fakhari Air Base in Iran's northwestern city of Tabriz are overhauling different types of aircraft, including the strategic MiG-29 and F-5 fighter jet. The country's second air base is in a high state of preparedness by overhauling its MiG-29 and F-5 fighter jets highly effectively and manufacturing different plane parts," General Masad Rauskash said. Considering Iran and the region's strategic and sensitive geographical situation, the armed forces should always remain in a state of full operational readiness," the pilot added. In August 2012, a MiG-29 fighter jet of the Iranian army conducted its test flight successfully after being overhauled by local experts. The aircraft which was downed for 12 years could experience its first flight after it was overhauled at Shahid Fakhari Air Base, which took 21,000 man per hour of work. The Iranian experts spent 24 months to overhaul the strategic fighter jet and mounted three types of modern electronic systems onto the aircraft in a bid to increase its technical and backup capabilities.